If you've never experienced a real serious wildfire, either in the brushland or in the timberland, it's something everyone should experience. Because you can't get within sometimes a quarter of a mile, half a mile even, of some of these fires because of the tremendous amount of heat. It's like a furnace. I am Bill Burroughs, uh, the coordinator of the Sunflower Coordinated Resource Management Plan, which is a 40,000 acre area here west of Red Bluff. Well, of course, fire was part of Mother Nature's plan for timber, brush, and Mediterranean kinds of environment that just happened. So those fires happened every year in different places because there was different spots, but it kept the grasses and forbs in low cereal stage and kept the brush from developing into a ladder fuel that created these catastrophic fires that we have now. Well, things went along reasonably well till about 1950 because we had natural fires, lightning fires. We were doing a lot of prescribed fires back then. This ranch and my neighboring ranches burnt 5,000 acres in 1955. Then about that period of time, sometime there in the 50s, is the CDF, California Division of Forestry and Fire Protection, and the Forest Service and the BLM started really aggressively putting out these fires. And so it worked really well for 30 years. But now we've got such a catastrophic buildup of biomass out there that it's very difficult to put out these fires now when they do get started, particularly in the summer months. Yeah, in 1977, we had an 80,000 acre fire that uh, came through our area, burnt uh, a lot of timber, burnt a lot of structures. So what it did, it was a wake up call for us that, hey, we better take this thing serious and see if we can't put together a system that, have, that would minimize this wildfire threat. You know, the system that we're using here is as close as we can in this day and age, modeling Mother Nature's approach that she's used for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Really, the only thing we're modifying slightly from Mother Nature is we're using some mechanical methods to get it started. So what we're doing is using a ball and chain technique which crushes the brush and, and originally opens up these decadent brushy areas. Then from there, we're using fire to modify that fuel break and get it clear of the brush. Then using mosaic burns that are associated with these fuel breaks in a kind of a sporadic fashion to minimize the chance of a wildfire raging through the area. But the critical thing that we're doing and promoting is bringing the herbivore back into the system like we have Elkhorn Ridge, so we had a lot of elk here. We have Antelope Valley, Antelope Creek. So there were a lot of herbivores in here when we Europeans came here. So we're trying to duplicate that part of Mother Nature by bringing in goats and hair sheep, eventually brush-eating cattle, called Brazona cattle, into the system, and have the offspring of those animals pay for the cost of management.